here's the bonus I wanted to throw in because it's that important, right? And I see tons of business owners mess this up. As a business owner, the most important things that you guys have and have control over is your credit and your business credit, right? And the reason it's so important is because when you go to grow, when you want to scale, you need to utilize both to get into better programs. So if you need an SBA loan, if you need equipment financing, if you need a line of credit, all of those things come into play. And one of the biggest mistakes I see is business owners not focusing directly on some of the metrics that they can control and it has them take programs that they really shouldn't take to grow. All right, so let's get into this. The first thing I want you guys to do is if your bank offers monitor, a credit monitoring, great. Uh, you could use LifeLock, but Credit Karma is free. I will say Credit Karma is not accurate. It's not even remotely accurate. The only reason you use Credit Karma is to notice any changes. You're not using it for the score. You're, you're seeing if it has any changes in your credit from month to month. And you really should check every 15 to 30 days. All right, because as a business owner, we tend to make a lot of mistakes. That's okay. That's part of the learning process. What I will tell you is some of the mistakes that I have seen repeatedly, especially when it comes to credit is, um, one applying for different types of financing and having your credit pulled a ton and all being hard pulls. I'll give you a quick example. Like if you go to apply for a car and they send you out seven places, it's a hard pull. You're going to get seven hard pulls on there and that's going to lower your score. If you apply for a mortgage and they do the same thing, it's going to lower your score. If you apply at certain finance companies for business, it's going to lower your score. When we, when I personally, when anyone works with my company integrated, we do a soft credit pull. The only hard credit pull is one equipment underwriter and the SBA, because you really can't get around that. Otherwise, everything is a soft pull. However, not every company works like that because they really don't care. They just want to throw it wherever they can throw it. They throw as much against the walls as they can, whatever sticks they use, whatever doesn't, they don't analyze it, right? There's, there's an art to it. So one, be careful where you apply, when you apply, and make sure they're utilizing a soft pull. If you're using, using, utilizing a hard pull, make sure it's only one pull. All right, next, credit cards. I can't tell you how many entrepreneurs I've seen get into trouble because they're using their personal cards instead of business cards, or they use a what they thought was a business card, but it's still reporting to you personally. Uh, City's pretty notorious for that. What I would make sure is when you sign up for Credit Karma, see what cards are on there. Like I have a bunch of Amexes. They don't go on my personal credit report because they're business cards. Um, most of my cards don't report to my business, uh, don't report to my personal. Okay. That's important. Uh, the next thing that's important when you use your personal credit to finance business and it reports to your personal credit, you want to pay that stuff down or off as much as possible. So I see a lot of business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs have a ton of credit card debt on uh, personally that they use for the business. That's got to get paid off. The other trick is if you are in that situation, you don't have the business cards where the business isn't truly cash flowing yet. And it could be fat many different reasons. Make sure you're paying off your credit cards by the statement date, not the due date. The statement date is when that credit card will report to the bureau. So if you pay it by the statement date and you pay it down, so you don't have high utilization, your credit will be higher. If you can pay it off by the statement date, even better. Try to only use business cards and a business line of credit to float the business. And if you are just starting a business, it is super important that you absolutely um, keep your credit as strong as possible. What I advise people is if you're going to start a business, you know, you need financing or you need funds to do it now, do as much as you can without the funds, work your job and then take a term loan because that's a longer term line. It's not going to impact your credit the same way credit cards will and then go open up all the business credit like we've been reviewing, right? But this was a bonus, I threw it in here because I think it's super important for a lot of business owners to understand what impacts their credit and that the fact that they have to, you have to monitor it, right? If you can prove what you don't measure, credit's definitely one of those things. So check it every 15 days, every 30 days. Again, all you're doing is you're checking for changes and fluctuations. 
you're not necessarily checking the score because it is off. All right, I really hope this helped. I'll see you on the next one.